What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. In this one, we're gonna show you how we built this roof and we're starting on our deck board. So we got a lot of really cool stuff going on on this project. Make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. What's up everybody? So we're on our roof now, finally. We battled some weather. But we're here, it's a little cold, we're gonna get it done. So we have all our rafters cut, we have all our beams have layout on them, we have our setups going. Right now I'm figuring out our ridge height. I already have a pin on that end of the project and now I'm transferring it over to the house. So I'm gonna pull, that, pull up some Tyvek paper, get a mark, locate studs for the framing of the house, screw a temporary two by four here at my height so our ridge can sit on something. We'll get it set roughly in the center and then we're good to go. Hold on. More? Are you on it or no? Are you hitting the house? Uh, you got a screw gun on you or no? Tom. What's up, Catherine? What are you doing? Uh, I am putting some notches in our last rafter so it will set up to accept our show rafter when we put some two by four boards in there. Cool. Yeah. Then what do you do? You just leave it like that? Yeah, we leave it like that. No, we'll take a <laughs> hammer to it, knock it out there, and then clean it up with the zippy tool. And it'll be ready to go for the two by fours. All right, cool. All right. Get to it, Tom. You got it, boss. All right, and. <sighs> Good morning, Catherine. What's the game plan? It's a big day. It is a big day, and we're down a man. We're down a very important man. You think that's gonna help us or it'll probably hurt speed, us? It'll probably speed us up a little bit. <laughs> Sean is out today. We're getting this roof up without Sean, so. I think we'll be all right. So the game plan is we're gonna get the ridge set. Okay. That's gonna be the first thing. Um, then I'm gonna get the guys set up, staying a little bit busy with like pulling layout on our beams, prepping our rafters for our show rafters. Some of the rafters have to have the tails cut off because they're gonna button to the bump out of the house. Once we get all that like kind of prep work done and setups are made and we're all ready to go that's how, that's what really helps the rafters just fall into place and just fly and then uh yeah we'll have at it but Catherine, i'm gonna need you to be uh costume on today i'm, I'm ready <sighs> um because you're gonna be working today all right stay cool. tuned let's get this roof up moving along so fast. This roof is going up so fast, which is great. We love to see it. Ant is up right now doing the sheathing. Uh, Tom is handing him all the plywood, so we're just a well-oiled machine one after the other. And Jose is working on the fireplace wall while they're doing it. And we got plumbers here putting in gas lines for the kitchen, the fireplace, and everything's moving along. So I gotta get back to work. Guess who's back? Back again. Sean's back. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. All right, so I was out last week, had some family sickness stuff. Me, didn't get sick at all. I'm immune. Uh, some people are just built different. So uh, they got the roof up. Beautiful. I didn't even have to be here, but uh, from what I hear, there wasn't uh, any great teachable moments because the teacher wasn't here. Is that correct? You just won it. Well, let me show you. You saw how the roof went together. Now, let me give you a, a little explanation. I got a diagram over here, come on. I'm gonna show you here with this little diagram how we figured out 
all of our measurements for our rafter. So here we have our outside post to outside post. And what we need to figure out is our run of the rafter. So we take that outside to outside measurement, we divide that in half. And after we divide it in half, we take half the thickness of the ridge material, which is an inch and three quarter. So once we divide our overall run in half and we subtract half of our ridge material, that gives us our adjusted run. So here is how Ant figures it out. He did his total run minus the ridge, divide that by two, and then we have our run, which is 113 and a half. So that is our one measurement. And to figure out a rafter layout, you need two measurements out of the three of the triangle. So there we have our run. That's our first measurement. Our next is our pitch. So we already know what our pitch is. It's a 412. That is set. So all we need to do is plug those two dimensions into a calculator. You can get a construction calculator and you'll just put your run and your pitch and that is gonna give you your diagonal and your total rise. So we have our diagonal is 119 and 5 eighths. So what we need to figure out, we're gonna cut our four pitch on this rafter. Then we're gonna hook here. We're gonna pull our measurement. We're gonna pull out 119 and 5 eighths. We're gonna put our square on a four pitch, plumb that down and that is our bird's mouth cut. So that's how we figure out all the dimensions for these rafters. The other thing that it spits out is our rise, which is 37 and 13 sixteenths. That we need to do first because we're gonna level the line straight across our back wall, and then we're gonna need to measure up that measurement, 37 and 13 sixteenths, and that is where we need to set our ridge because the ridge is gonna go up first, so we'll put some blocking underneath of it. We'll set that right at our height on both ends. And then we have everything we need. We can set the ridge and we can cut all of our rafters. Everything should come together perfectly. So that's how we figure it out. A Little bit complicated, but once you do it a couple times, you'll realize it's pretty simple. So I hope that helped. Good luck. All right, so we're gonna start laying our decking on this lower deck. And this is gonna be where we have the outdoor kitchen. So. We already have our gas line run right here. That's gonna be for our grill. And you can see here we have a drain line. Over here, you can see in the rendering, that is gonna be where our outdoor table is gonna be extended off of our kitchen. So that's gonna be open on the ground. So what we're gonna do is have our boards run into this. You can see how we did the blocking in the other direction here. That is gonna be for boards running this way, vertical, and that's gonna go up our end leg of the table. A little bit confusing, but you'll see it come together and I think it's gonna work out really nicely. And uh, you can see in the rendering there how we're gonna have nice seating for at least six people over here, right attached to the outdoor kitchen. All right, let's get these boards up. Woo! Always important when you're getting a delivery, make sure you stage it closest to where it's gonna go. So we've got a uh, Teco Block delivery coming in. We've got Wall Block, that's gonna go right on this corner. Make it as easy as possible since they got the machinery and uh, we don't have to move it super far. All right, we're at a critical point of this project where we're on kind of a time crunch. We've got it up on the roof, he's building the cricket. That's where our two roofs come together. We need to build a third roof there, roof cricket, to shed that water towards that corner so we don't have water going into the house. But to do that and build that, he has to take up the shingles, basically unwaterproofing the existing house. So if we have a rainstorm between the time that he starts building this and the time that we get the roofers here, which is supposed to be tomorrow, we're gonna have big trouble. So Ant right now is working on that cricket. He has to get that completely done today, ready for the roofers. So when they show up tomorrow, if it's not ready, they're gonna leave. So we need to make sure that he gets that done so they don't have a new water feature in their dining room. We don't want that. Just putting these little scraps in here because our frame of the wall is gonna be right in line with the frame of our deck. So uh, we didn't wanna put in our full border here with that overhang because this is gonna be flush straight down and it's gonna be buried underneath of 
our wall plate so he won't see it and uh, just so we have a nice flat surface to start our wall. Okay, then these are only 32 and 7 eighths. They need to be 33 and 7 eighths. Gotcha. <laughs> Classic. It got our cricket done just in time. Roofers got here first thing in the morning. It was ready to go. They've been here about an hour and they're already halfway done. So it's gonna be sealed up before we get some rain tomorrow. And you can see we're wrapping up the exterior of this outdoor kitchen. On the next video, we'll show you some more details with that as we get to our appliance layout and some of the really cool trim details that we're doing on our deck. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned, and until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.